ever since Suresh Prabhu had taken over as Railway Minister in Narendra Modi's cabinet, he, in fact, made abundantly clear that he is more concerned with the turnaround in Indian railways than taking the populist path. Thus far, the possible message from the 2015 and 2016 railway budget he is set to present in Parliament on Wednesday is loud and clear. His sole objective appears to clean up the financial and administrative mess in the railways. Yet, people's expectations are high in spite of Minister's firmness to bring in fundamental changes in the railways. Mango News tried to capture some passengers' views and here they are. I am expecting in this uh, union budget to be uh, mostly we emphasize on uh, safety. Railway safety is uh, most alarming in nowadays because uh, recently we have seen an accident in uh, Karnataka that have taken the lives of 12 people. Above that, uh, safety measures have to be improved and uh, reservation procedure is also not that good. It should be still improved better because Satkal, most of the Satkal is hacked by the agents and it has been uh, uh, not available to the common people. So Satkal system should be changed. About that, certain uh, stations, every station is uh, maybe a new uh, traveler will be there. So in every station it should be announced the station name, uh, what is the station all that. The, the three points I would like to on the union budget. So in the scale of 5, I am a, 3.5 is my rating on Indian railways. Because being a monopoly, it is not going, emphasizing on uh, most of the facilities to the passengers. Wi-Fi network is in uh, Rajdhani Express was uh, supposed to be introduced, it was not introduced. And uh, 10 trains have been uh, allotted to South Central Railways within the last budget, but only 8 have been introduced and 2 have been kept pending. And uh, coach factory in Kazipet has been still uh, on the records only, no but sufficient budget is being allocated for the coach factory in Kazipet and uh, Nizambad Petapalli uh, railway line is still to be is, is, on, is only on the paper and no budget is being allocated. The amenities in uh, all these stations have been very poor, the, these has to be increased. Elevators are uh, planned in uh, Sakanabad station only uh, two, in platform number 1 and 10 only the elevators are running and rest others are not uh, functional properly, may, may be erected but not functioning properly and uh, sec security wise and uh, cleanliness wise in Sikandabad station is very poor. Same in the case of Vijayawada and uh, Vizak. Uh, Tirupati they have planned to be the international standard uh, railway station which they are, it is only their promise, kept promise and it has not been fulfilled since Lalu Prasad it has been pending. Tirpati being a pilgrim place and a lot of people coming here, the safety measures and the immunities to be improved a lot. That should be taken up in this budget, I wish to. India is doing a very great job. Uh, there are a lot of improvement and development happened since long years. The only request what would be from the government uh, is for the cleanliness and hygiene which has to be taken care. As if we see like a lot of other uh, transports have been already been developed. It should not happen like railway should disappear. So uh, that has to be very ta uh, taken seriously as we are saying like switch to Bharat that we are looking into the cleanliness of the places and all. But uh, the internally the uh, uh, transport what we have, we are not looking into that. As we see in all the railway trains outside and inside, hygiene is not at all maintained, which has to be deeply taken care. Amenities in the sense the uh, washroom amenities, there has to be little uh, some basic soap solutions can be provided. The napkins, can, tissue paper which is a low quality is also not an issue, but has to be little uh, hygiene. You know it, that will help into cleanliness and hygiene for us as a public. And uh, yes, the improvement is there. I'm not saying that, but can be more taken care like. The last year also a lot of accidents happening because uh, the tracks is not been taken care and all which uh, proper servicing has to be done proper uh, checking has to be done in all the places and all the maybe metros or out of outskirts or as well so that the accidents can be avoided the people life can be saved in a lot of ways would you have any anticipate uh, more new trains either this Andhra Pradesh or Telangana, we expect more trains? Definitely, like uh, trains as it's which is going, as like if you say, like if you are going to bookings, there are a lot of uh, times you find that you don't get a train. In the last moment you have to do a Tatkal booking and the agencies are getting more benefited by that, by taking some extra money from the public 
rather keeping the trains more and uh, you know the, the public can get uh, direct tickets from the government itself then we don't need to go and search into our travel agencies and other our, you know, sources like that amenities in the sense uh, as, uh, as we see like the older people and all for them like the steps are not that easy to walk in so as some stations they, they have uh, accelerators which has been provided it's very good uh, which I've seen the development happen but it should happen in every individual platforms helpful for everybody to get down and you know get it in all the uh, stations and uh, everywhere as well as outside also uh, when you walk in like you should have some source of, of transport which can help people to come in and exit and uh, checking as well you know that's the major thing uh, what you would expect from the government to do it in this year at least Security, yes. Uh, what I've seen is not all the people have been checked. It's only the doubtful people have been checked. Like, so I, I would prefer there has to be some uh, type of uh, process where you walk in and every individual, every individual equipment which is coming inside, as well as the people who come in inside, is been checked properly. So it's not only the people, the police sitting over there. Police are doing a great job, but it, it's not their responsibility only by uh, visualization. Like you should have such certain equipment where the people pass in. There's only way to pass in. And then they have been tracking all each and everything which is coming inside like and all the platform it should be then as exit also I don't find anything uh, provided in the exits there's a out corner exit which is that the people can just walk outside with any equipment or anything nobody can be tracking it so anything can come in why right? we are only checking for the thing which is coming into the platform the things which are going outside the platform nobody is tracking that so people can anybody can just you know uh, the train is stopping in the middle of the way Anybody can come into the train and get anything, uh, what, uh, you know, for example, bombs or anything, and they can enter into any of the cities. Like, this is something major concern which we need, we need to look into. Like. But as far as Indian railways are concerned, although it is considered as the fourth largest network in the world, yet it is unable to reach out to the people of northeastern states. That too, even after 67 years of independence. Hence, many expect the budget to provide more funds to develop this region to get connected with the rest of the nation. Furthermore, it is also expected that the government will take initiatives to electrify the existing railway tracks. In other words, Mango News advises the frequent travellers to be prepared of possible fare hike as well as other tax doses from the Railway Minister Suresh Prabhu. That's for sure. News Desk, Mango News.